hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel this is your girl angel from simply angel tia in this video we're working on this skirt i'm gonna call it mini skirt but it's not quite mini it's not very short but it's short enough uh, so for those of you who obviously want to make this to be a very short mini skirt you can you just stop before you go any further and you will have the length that you want for those of you also who want this skirt to be longer you can i will try to make a skirt like this that is a long skirt in the future but for now we're stopping here so but if you wanted to work ahead of time and just make this a long skirt then you just literally continue to work until it's the length that you want but for now this is a mini skirt we're going to be working on i have these two colors here this was mainly because i have a top that i did with these two colors um so it would be better to do it with the same color so that i can wear it with that top um i will show you guys a picture somewhere here so you see what i'm talking about um uh, but yeah also because this is leftover yarn from that top and this leftover yarn from that top so i don't have enough of each so i decided to do a mini skirt that will go with the top all right so this is it here so go grab your materials and let's go ahead and get started okay my lovelies before we get started with this project i'm gonna show you all the materials that i'm using for it today and as you can see here i have my yarn a ball of yarn it's called tricot boutique meg multico uh it's 100 percent acrylic it's 50 grams for this or 130 meters um recommended hook size is three and a half to four millimeter crochet hook um and this color here is zero one but it's pretty much like a denim color okay so this is what i'm gonna use i'm gonna actually use a different color as well i have only two of these here so i have decided i will probably mix it up with this just because i think it will go really well to mix these two colors together and this one here is a different brand obviously as you can see as you write it's also 100 percent acrylic this is a lightweight number three this is a lightweight number three this is an off-white um and this color number here is 211 recommended hook size is the same as this um and the uh amount of yarn here is 50 grams for this but it's 140 meters and i think this one was 130 meters so a little bit shorter for this than this and uh yeah like i said i only have two of these guys here i cannot find any more in the store so i'm gonna do the top part of the skirt in this color and then i will continue with the white in the bottom okay so you guys can obviously choose any colors that you want for your skirt um for a crochet hook size i will be using my favorite as always g6 us which is 4.25 millimeter crochet hook and this is just because i want my work to be nice and loose um i have a, a tape measure here to be able to, to measure my size i have um, a darning needle i have some stitch markers and a scissors okay let's go ahead and get started okay my lovelies so i'm going to start by doing the band of my skirt uh, i'm just going to leave a little bit of a long tail here hanging to be able to sew my uh, band together um, but i'm going to start by doing a slip knot just like this okay and then i'm gonna do a chain of uh 11 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and the 11 chain here is going to be for the width of our band if you want your width for the band to be a little bit wider then increase the number of chains it doesn't matter how many you increase it to if you want it narrower then decrease uh to maybe nine seven something like that okay all right we're gonna skip the 11th stitch here and in the 10th we're going to go in the back and complete a half double uh, a single crochet like that and then we're gonna go into the next and complete a single crochet like that and then we're gonna go into the next and complete a single crochet and then we're gonna go into the next and we're gonna do this all the way to the end of our foundation chain and at the end you will have 10 stitches all together and for the remaining of the band here you're gonna be working with the 10 stitches okay so it shouldn't increase or decrease make sure you're counting occasionally to make sure you're maintaining your uh, your 10 stitches and you're just going to do this all the way to the end i'm about to just get to the end here okay so this is my second last and then my last all right now that i've completed this this pretty much completes the first row and then i'm going to do a chain of one and turning 
and then in the next stitch right after that i'm going to complete a back loop single crochet and in the next i'm going to go do a back loop single crochet and this is the repeat for the rest of this part of the project where you're pretty much completing back loop single crochets all the way to the end for me personally for the second last or the for the last uh, stitch I go through both loops as opposed to just the back loop and what this does for me personally is it makes it nice and neat and not stretchy the last stitch is not stretching it's nice and solid but it's up to you if you want to do it differently 100% go ahead and do that so this is what I was talking about instead of going through this final loop and doing a single crochet here I just grab both loops like this and complete my single crochet like that okay so that's the second row completed we're gonna do a chain one to start row three and turn and then we're gonna do the same thing where we're just going to the very next stitch and grab the back loop and do a single crochet and then into the next do a single crochet in the back loop and then we just do this again all the way to the end for the final one we go through both loops and then chain one turn and repeat okay so i'm going to have you guys work the length that will end up being the circumference of the widest part of your hips okay so you're going to stand or the person you're making this for is going to stand straight you're going to measure with a tape measure the widest part of their hips i use inches you can use whatever measurements you want or whatever units you use but i use inches and i measure the widest part of the hips in this case i'm making it for myself so i just measure myself and i don't do it often because i maintain my weight so i don't have to uh, always worry about maybe it's, it's change uh, but i do measure every couple of months or so to make sure i haven't uh, i'm not gonna make something that's not gonna fit me um so my widest part of my hips i measure and then when i work on this i'm going to go all the way around and when I stretch my band, it should be able to go around the widest part of my hips like this, okay? And this stitch here, it stretches really, really well. So go ahead and do that, whatever the length that's going to be. As soon as if you stretch it around your widest part of the hips and it comes around very nice and comfortable and it's not, you're not struggling too hard, then come back to the video and we will move on to the next part of the project together. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay, my lovelies. So I have completed the length here that is going to end up being the circumference of the widest part of my hips. And this is it here. Um, the widest part of my hips, by the way, because I, I don't think I mentioned that, is 40 inches uh, wide. So if I take a tape measure in inches, it comes up to 40 inches. And this is exactly what this is. So if you see how stretchy this is, this is very, very, very stretchy. And the reason we do this is we want it to be able to come up because often we wear the skirt by pulling it up from the bottom and you want it to be able to pull up from the bottom very easily without um, without it having difficulties coming up uh, the widest part of your hips. Uh, and what we will also do if you have a very small waist and this may not uh, this may be too loose for your waist later we will do a waistband that we can then put kind of you know in, in the band here to be able to kind of snatch it in um, so we don't worry too much about that being uh, the size that we want for this part of it okay so now that we have this we're going to join these two sides together so I'm going to take my darning needle okay and what some people do as well is they use a single crochet stitch to um, or slip stitch to do this part to join this part here i don't i just enjoy to use a darning needle it's easy it's fast i don't have to worry about too many mistakes so i just take the yarn that i had left from the um uh, the beginning of the project and i use it to join this section here okay and for those of you who are wondering as well my the number of rows i did here it came up to 100 rows altogether um it works up really fast because it's very short to go from one end to the other and back and back and back uh but yeah i ended up doing 100 um 100 rows altogether here all right so for the first uh for the first uh stitch right here i'm going to grab both loops of the both stitches on this side and then i'm gonna correspond by grabbing both stitches on the other side uh with my darning needle and then i'm going to pull and then i'm going to do that one more time in the same spot 
and I'm going to make sure this goes on the left hand side of the previous one like that that just reinforces it so that it doesn't come off okay and then for the rest of it here I'm going to grab the inside loop of this next stitch and the outside loop on the other side of the other stitch like that and then I repeat and I just go like this okay and then I repeat and you have 10 stitches so you should be able to match them up very nice and easy here if for some reason you may have dropped a stitch and you don't match them up you could just double up on one so let's say you have 11 on this side and 10 on this side around this moment here you should be able to do doubling up where you take the same one here but then you move over to the other one on the other opposite side but I don't have to here because as you see I have two stitches to go on each side so I have this stitch and that stitch and then the final stitch is the one where my working yarn is coming through here and what I do for that is I just grab it like that and then I grab the other side then I pull and because we did it twice on the other side I'm going to do it twice on here as well to just kind of reinforce it more like that okay and that's how your work should look like where you joined not too complicated you leave the hanging yarn here it will be one of the places one thing that will remind you where your rows start and end because we're going to start to work in a circle uh, but it's also so that if there's anything that you need to correct your work and you have to undo this to either add more stitches or to reduce the stitches it's going to be easy for you to find it um, so don't weave it in yet it's something to do at a later time okay and then we grab our working yarn which we haven't disconnected yet we left it like that and then we're going to start working on the rest of this part and i'm just going to do a chain of one and i'm going to go into that stitch right here and i'm going to complete a half double crochet stitch like that okay and i'm going to grab the next and go into the next stitch right here and do a half double crochet and by stitches I mean this here as you can tell this lump here counts as two stitches so what I do is I put one stitch here one stitch here and that covers this put the next stitch here put the next stitch here it covers this okay and you just continue to do this if for some reason you want to increase your work here maybe you want uh, this part of it to go um, a little bit wider than the band then what you will do is you will just double up some of the stitches sorry i'm removing these two because i ended up doing double crochet stitches on those as opposed to have double crochet stitches um so just to repeat again if you want to increase your work from here however you want to increase whether you want to increase every couple of stitches or you want to increase twice here whatever the case is all you will do and i'll recommend you increase it in this moment of the work where the the stitch dents in i would i would suggest you increase like that so where you pretty much do two stitches in the same stitch and then you move on to the next stitch and you go ahead and just continue continue and then what you think is the next appropriate spot to increase you do the same again but if you have these fitting the widest part of your hips your skirt will fit uh coming up very easily so you don't have to worry about that but just in case you need to increase okay so we're gonna go ahead and work the half double crochet stitches all around until you come back to this section here so where this string is coming out of is where you will do your last half double crochet and then you will come back because we will need to slip stitch to the the beginning here before we start the next row but for now just work the um work the half double crochets around and then come back when you've completed the row okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have completed my first row here of the half double crochets and as you can see i just came back to where we started so i'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch on top of the chain one that we started with which did not count as a double crochet or as a half double crochet okay so this is how my work looks so far and as you can see by the way just because the half double crochet stitch is wider than the single crochet stitch 
it does work out to be to spread out anyway so as you can see it kind of goes out like this so this part is gonna be a little bit wider here anyways but again when we stretch it like this it's gonna go around your hips but again like i said if you wanted to increase then you would have increased in that first row and if you did not and you want to increase at a later time you can do the same as i just showed you where in one stitch you put two half double crochets and you can uh, space that out however you like to okay all right, so to start the second row, I'm going to do a chain of one and then I'm going to literally go back into the next stitch here and I'm going to do a half double crochet just like that. And then I'm going to move into the next stitch and I'm going to complete a half double crochet and into the next a half double crochet. And this is your repeat row and you just pretty much have to just work this as much as you need to cover your backside. So what I will do because I have two uh, balls like this and then I'm going to use the white to complete it just because this, this is not going to be enough. I'm going to do this, the two balls of this and if it does cover my behind, I can, I will start the white, um, but I'm going to do a slit on the side. Okay, so that I will show you at that point, but if it doesn't cover my behind, I will resume with the white anyways a little bit until it covers my behind. So we, go, we do the exact same thing we do here but with the white and continue it until it covers our behind completely and in a very nice and professional way. Um, and then from there on we will do a slit, okay? So you can either do it like that. The other way is if you want it to not cover you fully, you can start the slit anyways but do solid and then after that, you just continue it the way the slit starts. So it's gonna be up to you. So you can either have this until it covers your behind before you start the slit, or do this and then add the white until it covers you until before you do the slit, or you can do the slit um, whenever, pretty much. It depends on how high you want your slit as well. I want mine not to be too high because I wanna be able to wear it nice and professionally as well. Um, so yeah, go ahead and work these rows here. It's just repeating. You're gonna do the half double crochets all the way. And your last one will be right here and then you will slip stitch on top of this chain one and then chain one and start the next row and just repeat that okay so build it up until such time that you would like to have the slit to start and then come back to the video okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have completed the two balls of yarn here by doing my half double crochets so as you can see this is all i have left out of my second uh, ball of yarn so and i know this will not make another round so I'm going to obviously cut these off here and then be able to do uh, the white yarn because at this point the skirt is too short for us to continue uh, to stop here. Um, so if you have the same yarn, you will continue until you have the length. But since I am out and that's all I have left, I just cut my yarn there and then I'm going to join the white to be able to increase. But also I'm going to start to do the slit for my skirt from here. Okay, just so you guys can see again so when i left off we had started just a few rows right here and i worked my skirt down at some point in maybe like the sixth row here i increased just a little bit for my uh, skirt to kind of go a little bit wider because i was afraid it may be too narrow and it would be too tight so what i did here was i just increased just like i showed you uh, at the beginning how to increase i increased every 15 stitches so i just went around my circle I did my no more half double crochets uh, and after the uh, after uh, when I get to the 15th stitch I put two half double crochets in the same stitch then I go ahead and I do another 14 in the 15th I do another two in one and then I just did that so as you can see here at this point it started to kind of go a little bit wider and this is why my skirt has a little bit of that uh, Fall, fall fall out like this okay so that is something that i showed you how to do at the beginning so it's very easy to increase you just increase by doing a couple of inch a uh, couple of stitches in one in one uh couple of stitches in one stitch <laughs> um and i'm gonna now change it to this color here so my off white because this is the other color that i'm using to be able to make sure i have enough length for my skirt and to do that i'm gonna also create a slit because this is the skirt where we do a slit on the side okay so uh, i'm just i just pulled the middle of my yarn here and when i do this usually it comes out way more than i need uh, because i cannot locate the actual beginning of the yarn and when i do oh there it is right here and then uh, we'll go ahead and i'll show you just a row 
or two how to do this because then you just repeat that until you have the length that you're looking for and uh, in this case here we're just doing a normal simple mini skirt that is going to have um that is going to have a length that you're comfortable with uh having as a short skirt okay so we have the yarn here so as you can see i did my slip stitch here okay and i'm gonna go back into that uh chain uh, and i'm gonna bring it back like this and then i'm gonna change my color and i'm just gonna bring in my yarn like this okay like that voila i pull the two sides and then i chain one and i'm gonna turn I'm gonna work on the side here and this point we're gonna be turning because we need to uh, leave a slit right here so and then I'm gonna go into the next stitch and I'm gonna do a half double crochet so in this case here this doesn't change at all we literally just repeating the same thing that we did with the rest of the project so you just work your stitches by completing half double crochets and you're gonna do this all around until you come back here your very final stitch will be right here this is the stitch right here and then when you do that come back to the video i will show you how to start the next row because we're going to be turning because we need to have our um our slit right here okay so go ahead and complete this row and come back and i will show you how to start the next okay my lovelies so i have worked my half double crochets around here as you can see and now i'm going to pretty much start the second row and i'm gonna have you guys repeat this until you have the length that you need for your skirt and to do that i'm gonna chain one and turn so this is where we're gonna be turning to create a slit right here and from here in the next stitch you just go in and complete a half double crochet and then go into the next stitch and complete a half double crochet and you do this again all around until you get to where you have the last stitch right here and then you complete that and then you start the next row by chaining one and turning and this is pretty much what you're gonna do for the rest of the project and it's gonna be until you create the length that you're looking for okay so for me i'm gonna just make sure i have a length that is appropriate for me to have uh and then i will stop because it's meant to be a mini skirt so a short skirt uh if you want this to be a long skirt go ahead and make it as long as you want it to be uh but for the sake of this tutorial is going to be a, a skirt that is above your knees okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i'm gonna work this row until i come to this here so this is gonna be where i put my final stitch and then i will chain one turn and go back around like this and i will do the same and i'll just repeat this uh, for as long as I need my skirt to be uh, okay so I'm gonna do that you guys go ahead and do the same when you have the length that you want for your skirt come back to the video so we can see how it looks like and I'm gonna do the same obviously so it will be mine that you would see how it looks like uh, for your own obviously you will determine when you need to stop okay so but I will come back to show you guys how mine look like and where I stop okay I will see you guys then okay my lovelies so I have pretty much completed the length of the skirt here so as you can see this is the part that we worked in the off-white color very nice it complements this color very well this denim color i love it so much like this um so yeah i did 20 rows of it here um and as you can see this is the length of the skirt that i want it's not quite very short but it's also not a very long skirt so i would refer to it as a mini skirt um, but yeah this is pretty much it here so i have reached my 20th row in the off-white color here so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the yarn off and then um i will just weave in the end there okay so i'll just cut the yarn somewhere here this comes up just like that and then um i will go ahead and do ooh, sorry i'm dropping my yarn here and then i'll just go ahead and weave these in here um i don't know where i put my crochet hook but i'm just gonna do a slip knot here so i'm gonna use my finger to do a slip knot and then pull and then i will weave this in here okay so as you can see this is pretty much how the skirt is gonna look the slit is gonna be on the side but to be honest you can do the slit on any side you want you can even have this in the back or the front of the skirt so you can kind of wear it however you want depending on the day and how you feel uh, but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and weave in the section here where i change the color i will weave this in here as well and i will weave in the yarn from where we started off the project here and as you can see i had a little bit of this yarn left in this denim color 
so i decided to do um a strap in case i want to uh, put it around my waist here and to do that is very very easy um i will show you guys how to do that in just a minute but it's not uh, necessary so what you will do is try your skirt on and if this section here fits fine then you don't have to do anything else it's okay like that but because we create this section here to fit the widest part of our hips for those of you who have wide hips and very small um, waist this is probably when this will come in handy because you want this section here to be able to fit around your waist very nice and and tight as opposed to it being loose because you want it to fit the widest part of your hips okay so i'm gonna grab my darning needle and i will show you guys how to put this onto the skirt and then we'll go ahead and finish off the video after that okay in the meanwhile while i get that i will actually weave in the ends here as well so that when i come back it's nice and clean and then i'll just show you guys how to put the strap on okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have gone ahead and weaved in the yarn here for my skirt and uh, what i did as well is i flipped it inside out so the side that i was working uh, with becomes my inside and this side becomes my outside and that's important why because when you put your strap in you want to be able to make sure that the strap uh, strings are going to be hanging on the right side and not on the inside because if you flip it then all of a sudden the straps are facing or well, like kind of on the inside of the skirt okay so determine what side is your outside and what side is your inside and then go ahead and work with the straps and when you have that done we go ahead and i will show you how to do the straps the other thing that i did too is you have to determine where your slit is gonna be and the good thing about this string is you can remove it and re put it back depending on how you want to wear your skirt so right now i'm placing this like this but in actuality the slit is going to be on my left leg side on the side okay so just right over my thigh this is where my slit is gonna be laying and so for that it's i'm putting it down like this and then i'm gonna start my strap kind of like somewhere in the middle here so i take my darning needle and i put my this uh, uh chain so this is just a literally a chain uh, of probably about a hundred uh chains or so and i just do it like this it fits in very easily in the darning needle and then i'll determine the part that i think is my middle and you can just kind of eye that you don't have to count all the stitches so i'm gonna just go that this is my middle here so i will start on this section here and i hope you can see it and you can put your strap at the very top here or you can put your strap in the middle um, but often i like to do it at the very top of my work so i will go in here and i will just kind of put it like this like this like this i hope you're seeing it like this and like this and then i pull it okay just nice and easy don't damage your work you just pull the strap and you will leave the strap hanging like this for now and then you do more and you can always adjust the the strap this part of it later and then you just continue like this like this okay like that and then you pull and as you can see this is how your strap is going in just like that very nice and neat okay so continue doing this all around until you get to here this yarn the last one should come out right about here like this it should be able to come out like this with this gap here left open because that's where you will tie it the other way you could do it also just do it here and that way you can tie here so this section here you can leave it as wide as you want but i think usually about one two three spaces is good uh anything more than that is too much so that you can tie the two straps like that okay so go ahead and just weave in this all the way around like this and when you've determined where to stop you stop and then come back to the video okay and i'll show you what to do there okay my lovelies so i have weaved in the strap here so it goes all around and as you can see i left these two sections here and then i'll be able to tie it here but as you can see uh my the one that i was working on is a, a lot longer uh, than see it's that much of a difference than the other one and all you will do here is just kind of adjust it by pulling it uh left right for example i will pull in this just like this i will pull this here until i see that it's even here with the two straps and then what i will do is i will just keep pulling it like this okay and you can even go further and pull it 
and then you're going to do that until you can size them properly okay until you can see that they're evening up and if it's just a little bit an inch shorter the one is an inch shorter than the other it's not a big deal but you want to make sure that your strap is going to be um they're going to be laying a little bit even than not even okay so i'm just adjusting it a little bit like this and as you can see i'm coming to the front here just something like this okay and as you can see they're not quite even they're just a little bit off but i'm gonna leave it like this it's not a big deal at this point if you want to make them completely even then you absolutely can but i think i'm fine to just leave it here like this and as you can see this is how my strap is for this section here um to not for it not to come off i will knot it a couple of times just like this one two times like that and then i will cut off the excess yarn like this then i'll just cut off the excess yarn here like that and i'll do the same with this one here and then pretty much your work is done you don't have much to do after this okay and like i said the strap you can remove it and put it back on depending on where you want the slit to come out uh, where do you want the slit to be so in this case i have the slit i'm gonna have the slit on my side on my left side uh thigh um and i don't think i will change it anytime soon but in the future if i decide to want to have it so that the slit is exactly in the middle then i will have to make sure that the strap is the strap is coming right here or you can just leave it on the side who knows maybe it's just stylish to do it like that um, but this can come out and re-put back and depending on how you want to have it but for now for my skirt it's going to be like this as you can see the slit is on the side and this is the bottom middle here okay so that is pretty much it we have completed this skirt and as you guys remember i mentioned that i did a top with these same colors and so it's pretty much going to be a top that goes with this skirt okay so as you will see in the pictures i'm going to be wearing it with that uh, to show you guys the pictures and for those of you who are wondering what top i'm talking about you will see it in the in the pictures but then you'll also have it uh linked in the description of this video uh, so that if you're interested in making the top as well you can go there and this top i did it so that it's very versatile you can wear it as a scarf you can wear it as um as a top uh, of course as you see in the pictures okay so that is pretty much it thank you so much you guys for watching the video to the end i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and making it as well so we're starting to make some summer stuff since you know summer is eventually gonna come uh, so just kind of stocking up on some projects for the summer so you guys can start to work on those okay thank you so much for watching the video to the end don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next one bye